All right, now let's look at this question, All right? What is the equations describing the motion of a mass on the end of a spring which is stretched 8.8 cm okay, from equilibrium position and then released from rest okay, and whose period is 0 0.66 second okay, and what is its displacement after 1.8 second? Okay, well, first of all, um, these questions, uh, I, I put one statement here. Uh, assuming time starts from equilibrium position. Okay, that means time start to measure from equilibrium position. Yeah, it don't, uh, we don't measure the time from the amplitude. Okay, Be uh, because uh, in our syllabus, we don't involve the phase constant. Yeah. In our syllabus, uh, if you look to our syllabus, okay, have a look to our syllabus. Our syllabus, uh, we just uh, learn the uh, equation for displacement is just a sine omega t. We uh, we don't learn plus pi. Okay, we don't le learn about the initial phase angle. Yeah, uh, we just learn about uh, omega t. Uh, so that's why I put this statement assuming time start counting from equilibrium position. That means when time equal to zero second, the displacement is also zero centimeter. Okay, uh, so these statements uh, means uh, the phi is equal to zero. Okay, uh, I purposely put this statement uh, because uh, to, to so that uh, to comply with our syllabus, yeah, that we don't involve the phi. We don't involve the phi, okay? So we leave the phi out of the questions, okay? We leave the phi out of the questions. So because if without this statement, if without this statement, time doesn't start from equilibrium, but it starts from amplitude, uh, then the equation will be different, okay? Uh, then the equation will have plus phi behind, or maybe sine become cos or sine. So uh, that's why to make things simple, I just put this statement, time start counting from equilibrium position that means when time equals zero second displacement is zero centimeter uh, this uh, uh, this makes the phi equal to zero so there will be no no phi in the equation all right just uh, simply a sine omega t okay so okay first of all let, let, let us look at uh, what is required in the equation uh, questions uh, the question asks us to find the equation okay equation um he it did give us the you know this mass is being stretched 8.8 .8 cm from equilibrium position ah so what does this tell you what is this 8.8 uh, .8 cm ah it stretched 8.8 .8 cm from equilibrium so after that it will also oscillate with amplitude 8.8 .8 cm it will not uh, oscillate with more than 8.8 .8 cm amplitude so 8.8 .8 cm becomes the amplitude or we can say that is the maximum displacement okay uh, because if you stretch 8.8 .8 cm it will only oscillate 8.8 .8 cm uh, you you won't you uh, it won't happen that you stretch 8.8 .8 cm then it oscillate 10 cm cannot yeah it cannot oscillate more than what you stretch uh, what you stretch is what's the amplitude what's the maximum displacement uh, release from rest, you see, and then release from rest. Uh, release from rest. Uh, if, if you if you don't have this statement, time starts counting from equilibrium position, and the time starts from the point of release, then uh, then you will have phi. You understand? Uh, it, the the time starts from the amplitude. Uh, so we don't want that to happen. Yeah, we start. We just put this statement. Time starts from equilibrium position. Phi equal to zero. Okay, and then he give us the period. Okay, this is the period. Um, okay, period. Okay, so we have uh, all re required information. Now, what's the general formula of uh, displacement in our syllabus? X equal to A sine omega T. That's it. Yeah, A sine omega T. So, X equal to A sine. Okay, A sine omega t okay uh, phi equal to zero yeah because we start time start from equilibrium uh, okay we have the amplitude already right 
uh, 8.8 cm uh, and uh, we don't have omega but we have the period uh, so omega we can find from the formula 2 pi over period uh, okay so uh, period is uh, 0 0.66 second uh, so uh, what do you get from this okay uh, I got uh, the omega is 9.5 uh, 2 9.52 uh, per second okay uh, the radian you don't need to write yeah just write per second okay so uh, and okay so the, the equation becomes and the amplitude is 8.8 .8 cm so that is 8.8 .8 centimeter right omega is 9.52 second uh, time uh, sorry, 9.52 per second okay be careful with the unit you see the amplitude here is centimeter uh, so our displacement will be also centimeter okay be careful with all these units uh, i just want to highlight all this this unit here centimeter and second okay uh, so our period our period is second so that's why our uh, our period is uh, second and that's why our omega yeah is per second okay and then uh, our omega is uh, per second uh, that's why our time is second uh, our time is second so finally you must write this yeah you must write this ah uh, okay you must write the unit here this one yeah x is in the displacement is in centimeter because it follow the amplitude and time is in second time is in second because the period is second okay uh, so uh, yeah because this unit can be cancelled off you see that uh, can be cancelled centimeter by centimeter second and with per second okay uh, but we don't cancel them yeah of course okay uh, so that's the equations okay we got the equation remember you must write the uh, you must write the uh, excuse me you must write the uh, unit also yeah you must write the unit also don't just give the equation alone you must write the unit also for displacement and time this is actually a displacement versus time equation okay we got the equation correct now let's look, look at the question b question b uh, asks for displacement uh, displacement uh, after this time 1.8 second so we just use this equation again uh, the displacement versus time equation uh, to find the displacement using this equation okay write down uh, okay mm. so we just substitute the time yeah we just substitute the time uh, 1.8 second uh, so we just substitute the time which is 1.8 second remember you must change all this into radian uh, you must set your calculator into radian if you put your calculator in degree then you are wrong okay so what's the answer let's calculate okay so i got it uh, negative i got negative uh, 8.71 uh, unit what is the unit ah uh, centimeter because it follow the amplitude it follow the amplitude centimeter when amplitude is centimeter uh, then the displacement also centimeter Okay, don't write meter, ah. don't write meter. If you meter, wrong. So, is the answer correct? Yeah, it's correct. Negative 8.7 centimeter. That's correct. Okay, so what does it mean by negative sign here? Uh, negative sign here, it means, uh, it is, uh, the negative sign here, it means, uh, so it means the negative sign here, uh, it means uh, the mass, the mass is at the left hand side or below uh, below the equilibrium position okay uh, so that's it for this this question okay bye